Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker and today I'm making an another video. This time is not for an order, this time is to make a do-it-yourself uh, lighting ring. Now, what is a lighting ring? It's a ring that you have lights around and you usually use it through a camera so as to have uh, lighting coming from all areas. First of all, uh, forgive me about my dirty hands. This is uh, printer ink. I opened my printer to fix it and then it just went all over the place and this thing needs like one day to just totally wear off. So in order to make my lighting ring I need the LEDs. I have plenty of these and I plan to use like a lot of these. I have a couple of variable resistances. These are like like switches or something. I'm also gonna need a USB power supply and I just cut off these wires where else oh and I also need some wire I'm actually gonna use this this is plant twist ties and it has insulation but I'm gonna remove that so I have these LEDs and I actually use them from for something else so some of them are used but I'm, but I'm planning to use them for this one as well and I have plenty of these so I'm gonna open this up a little bit just to make it easy to work with. All right, and I need to have enough space. So what I'm gonna do here is let me just take first those that I have already used a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is place them in here like that. I always gonna keep the longest part on the left side and the smallest part on the right side, and I'm gonna keep it like that because I want these to look inwards and then I'm gonna uh, fold the big one outwards and the small inwards okay and I'm gonna repeat this I'm actually gonna have plenty of these and I don't plan to have them all looking the same size like this is gonna look inside this might look a little bit less like so and I'm gonna repeat the process this outwards, this inwards. You want to use? I want to use these that are crooked already because they are being used before, and I want to make sure that I use these first. And I'm gonna place uh, plenty of these. I'm gonna use them very close to each other so as to be able to have a lot of light if I need to or you know less light and this is gonna be adjusted by the variable resistors so now I have everything put together there's just a small gap over here obviously and I just also bent these outside to make it easier and now I'm gonna have to cut enough of this make sure that I'm gonna have plenty to make a circle I'm actually gonna cut too much of it because I plan to bend it everywhere and I want to make sure that I have plenty so I need to remove the outer part this is the insulation And now that I have it all uninsulated, what I have to do is just, I'm gonna tie this over here. Like so, I'm gonna use my pliers to help me get it as fast as possible. Yeah, of course I'm gonna make this outside camera for the obvious purpose save some time hope you can see how it goes you know in and out in and out put it under make a circle and put it under again and that's it so I'm gonna do it for the whole outside perimeter 
and then I'm gonna have to do something similar in the on the inside so it's all done and finished oh goodness lord it took me so much time and also my fingers are hurting because these things uh, pinch so much so before I do anything else I can show you that it actually already works it already works but I have to put some uh, resistances otherwise I'm risking to burn these oops the other way see that there's a couple of them that just don't light up as much but um, these need about 3.5 volts and this is about 5 volts and that means that if I do it like that I'm risking to burn them so what I need to do is first I have these two variable resistances one is very high and one is very small so I'm going to use only this potentiometer and let me just cut off the excess and this white one as well now I'm going to have to set this here on top before I do anything else just because it's going to be so much easier I'm going to do it with an elastic sure it's not the best way but it's actually a non-permanent way so I guess it is good let me just what do you know it just yeah, it just moves a little bit, but that's okay. And now I have the red in the middle, and I want this to be zero. So this side here needs to touch the outside. So I'm gonna use small wire all right and this outer side here needs to touch the outside so let me just pass it through here like that and the yellow one needs to touch the inside I have to make sure that the yellow and the red do not touch each other at all let's just see where okay I'm gonna touch it over here come on little yellow wire just go through this one all right all right and to make sure that this this is not going to move i actually yeah i lost all of my no i cannot do that That will do. I have I run out of this little thing, unfortunately. So I'm gonna put it in here. Place it right over here. And 
and make sure that it doesn't move. See, it's very secure. Now let's just see now what we did. This is the dimmest it can get. This doesn't work. Okay, now it works. I think this is too light. Okay, so I have to make sure that I don't put it like that because I might burn the LEDs. This is probably the best. And now what I have to do is I have to take two sheets like that. This is A4 paper, but it's a uh, strong paper. And let me just see. It's not enough. Right, I think this is gonna be enough. So I'm gonna place this over here and I have to glue it here. And first I'm gonna have to find my tapes and everything and then I'm gonna show you why I'm doing that. I would prefer to use glue, but it's okay. I just found these little uh, clip clips here and now so I'm gonna place this inside here and I'm gonna have to see whether this fits or not over here or maybe it's too big it seems to fit it could possibly go a little thinner like so yeah I have plenty of room I think it's very good, so I'm gonna keep it like so and clip it over here as well. Run out of it. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry. And now I need a white background like this. I have created a white room, which is like those rooms that you get the perfect shot. Whatever I place in here, let me just keep this very close over here. So now what I have to do is place it, place an item in here. See how much light I need to have. Then take my smartphone and be able to take the best photo I can. You can see now that if I zoom it in, look how good you can actually. I'm gonna show you uh, inside the, the game. You can see the full detail, it's amazing and there are practically no shadows over here and i also did something uh clever but where is the oh yeah there it is. so i have made something more clever if i need if i see that the color correction is not working very well instead of having a white background i can have this Well, it doesn't fit very well, to be honest. Like that. And I can use these colors as reference colors. Like, take a photo. And then I can color correct using these colors. Yeah, of course, they're not very visible right now, but you get the point. So, yeah, um, that's it. Thanks for watching and ask me anything you want.